What's up, y'all? I'm tired. I'm wore out. I'm sweaty. Covered in oil, grease. My knuckles hurt. And uh, I'm going to tell you what's going on. I'm trying to get this buggy ready for this next race. Been busting my ass trying to get this thing ready. Um, I was out at Dixie Run this past weekend and lost oil pressure. Uh, just went down to zero. I was at an idle and it just shut off completely. No PSI. So I took the oil pan down thinking it may have been just the pickup. The oil, there's an O-ring on the pickup that goes to the oil pump. Maybe thought that split or the bolt had come out or something. So pulled it down. Didn't see anything obvious. And I didn't figure I'd go any farther into the motor out there in the field. So I put it on the trailer, brought it home. And uh, let me show you what I found. I did some research and found out that um, on these LS motors, the oil pump has a tendency to have a sticking valve, which is just it's a bypass by valve basically that uh, controls how much PSI this thing puts out. And uh, the oil pump looks like this when it's all taken apart. There's this rotor vein that basically sits inside here, and uh, it spins. It spins, and as it spins, it compresses the oil. It sucks it in one side, compresses it, and forces it out the other side. And so, um, basically, this hole right here is where the pickup tube is. One of the things that they said was that that might not be sealing and sucking in air, and if it does, the pump will lose its prime, or it'll just suck air and not create any pressure. Um, I checked that. There was nothing wrong with that, so I went to the next thing. Um, this little piston right here was the problem. If you look really, really closely, there are very tiny scar marks on the side of this thing. I mean, it's you can kind of see one right there where it's kind of shining. There's a little spot right there. That thing was getting hung inside this housing. And what happens is, is that plunger goes inside this hole right here and works its way back and forth. As pressure builds, it pushes this backwards and it keeps a constant PSI. Well... If you get this thing hung in the housing, it just bypasses the oil and just runs it around in a circle and doesn't make any pressure. So uh, the reason I'm showing you all this is because, you know, every time we have an issue, we try to help each other out. And uh, this is my issue. And maybe it'll help somebody out. Y'all have a good one. And I'll see you in Arkansas.